and welcome to this Zwift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Zwift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialise with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device. Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia and Harrogate in the UK. The biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. Well, go on then. Don't just sit there gawping at me. Basically, this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run. So you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Welcome to this Zwift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Zwift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialise with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device. Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. 
There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia, and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain, and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb, and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. Well, go on then. Don't just sit there gawping at me. Basically, this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run. So you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Welcome to this Zwift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Zwift ambassador, a community run leader, and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out, and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialise with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device, Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod, as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. 
I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. gawping at me. Basically, this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run. So you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Broadcasting live around the world on Facebook, on twitch.tv, on Mixer and on YouTube. While we're getting everything set up, it would be absolutely awesome if you could go and subscribe to the Film My Run YouTube channel and also the Zwift Runs and Rides YouTube channel. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Film My Run, on Twitter at Film My Run, and you can also go to the website which is www.filmmyrun.com. It's very nearly time, so sit back, relax and watch me do all the hard work. Right, there we are. That's lucky. Sometimes it takes a few seconds to uh, pick up. Right, 18 seconds. Let's go. So we are running with um, Commonwealth gold medalist. Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce her name. Aisha Pratt, uh, who runs for Jamaica. Kind of US citizen, but uh, runs for Jamaica. Right, let's see what... I can't remember what pace we're going at. 8.34 pace. What's that? 8.34 pace. Right, let's just try and stay with Aisha. So we've got a few people from Zwift HQ running today. Uh, Sean is running and Alyssa is running, both from Zwift HQ. Alyssa Henning, just ahead of me there. And uh, so let's just catch up and make sure we can stick to Aisha at the front there. It's a 5K run. It's not a race. Uh, Jason Darby, good afternoon to you. And Vidar, hello. I'm just going to go with Aisha. I'm just going to stick with Aisha all the way. 
if I can, anyway. Make sure I don't lose her at the front. Oh no, hang on a minute. Has she just crashed out? <laughs> She's crashed out. She's got a technical problem. <laughs> oh no. She's going to catch up, she says. Where is she? One second into the run, and Aisha has had some technical difficulties, and she is uh, at the back, or she hasn't logged back on yet, I don't think. <laughs> oh dear, never mind. Uh, so it's just an easy 5k, really, um, through Watopia. Uh, but quite a few names that we recognise. Vidar is with us, Adam Holland is with us, F Ali is with us, and W Ali as well. Who's W Ali? We know F Ali. Vanderpool is there. And Sean Jefferson, Alyssa Henning. DeSanto is running with us as well today. So that's quite nice, nice little group of people. Uh, thankfully, no tech disasters for me at the moment. Halfway through, uh, halfway through the first kilometre. Uh, I bet Aisha has not charged her foot pod. That would be classic, wouldn't it? Sean should have should have got her a, a, a direct access treadmill. Direct drive treadmill. <sighs> uh, so we are taking it easy at the moment. just after five o'clock here in the UK at 5 p.m. it's still light outside so I thought I would leave the uh, curtains open today and uh, it'll probably be getting dark by the end of the session
And we're just going onto the beach path now. Although we're doing John's route, so we're going right. And then we'll be going onto the cycle road, won't we? Yeah, that's so we're not actually going onto the beach path. We're going straight onto the cycle road. Four kilometers left. Just about done a kilometre. Hopefully Aisha is going to catch up. But she's got even for an Olympic runner. She's got to do some pace to make up a kilometre in the time. Mind you, she can just press join now, can't she? So uh, uh, join the runners or something. So what she could do in theory is log back in and press to uh, join a runner who's already running and then she'd be right back up with us immediately. But if she starts from the back and just goes, she's got a heck of a job to make up a kilometer. I'm sure she could do it though. Uh, Jason Darby says, my family think it's weird that I watch a live stream of you running. I think, Jason, I think it's weird that you watch a live stream of me running. I wouldn't watch me running. No, I, I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful for you guys uh, joining me on these streams. It does help to keep me going. is wanting people to go a little bit quicker. Hey, Gore says the cafes are all closed where he is. kilometers done I'm hoping that Aisha is going to start catching us up at some point I unfortunately I can't see her yellow uh, beacon anywhere in the back there so she's at least 30 seconds behind but obviously she's probably more than that so we're off to the left going uh, to Ocean Boulevard Is Pelotons, who model, who model is based on others, watch others, so I don't find it weird. At least Stephen isn't high on drugs or screaming at you to run. <laughs> I can, I can do that, Ryan. You know me. If I want you to run, you did say you hated me the other day. Do you remember? I'm not beyond, I'm not beyond laying down the law a little bit. Uh, 
Uh, so Aisha just saying that it's it's difficult to keep training with uh, all the uh, all the uncertainty around at the moment. Uh, Ryan is asking what's happening on today's stream. Uh, well, <laughs> we were supposed to be doing a nice 5K with Commonwealth gold medalist, Jamaican pro runner Aisha Pratt. Aisha Pratt Lear. She married Will Lear, didn't she? Um, and we started running and we got 100 metres in and Aisha's foot pod failed on her. So she is, I think she's, she is now running, but I think she's right at the back. And uh, I'm hoping she's making her way forward. But I can't see a yellow beacon anywhere in the distance there behind us. So she's some way back because we've done two kilometers now. So she's at least a kilometer and a half behind. So she's really got to pump it if she's going to catch us. Not that we're trying to beat her. <laughs> Just that we can't, you know, we're not going to walk, are we? says he's really sorry for all the hateful things he says to me when I try and push him. Oh, Ryan, it's all right. <laughs> uh, so lots of questions for Aisha. I just asked, is she, is she allowed outdoors at the moment? Um, and she says, our coach comes to our sessions. Luckily, we have a private team gym, but only one person is allowed in at a time. Wow. And somebody asking, what does she, uh, Alyssa was asking, what does she do in her downtime? So we're approaching halfway through uh, this gentle 5k. Um, it is a shame that Aisha is not actually on the course with us. She is logged in. I wonder if I can go back and see if she's there. Let me just click back a bit and see how far back I can go in the group. Right, this is the furthest back I can go. But it does say there are 16 or 20 more in the group. So how far back she is, I'm not sure. Uh, let's pick it up a bit again. Let's go eight on the treadmill. That's 7.30 pace. Eight, kilom uh, eight miles per hour. So in, uh, in metric, what are we looking at there? Eight miles an hour, it's 12 kilometers an hour, something like that. I'm just... Uh, I'm just cruising, to be honest. I'm going to just knock out some ride-ons while we're here. Let's give Alyssa a ride-on. And give the Allies a ride-on. Well done to W Alley and F Alley. Give DeSanto a ride-on. And so, and DB. Well done to all you guys for joining in. Marsden, Sega. Oh, done one for him already. Adam Holland, let's give Adam a ride on. Adam is fast. Give Vida a ride on. Um, Ex Vice President Al Gore, ride on for him. Van der Poel. I don't think it is the ex Vice President, by the way. He was vice president, wasn't he? 
uh, Martin, McKenna, a good few people are running, Lucas, well done to you. A couple of Italians who are still on total lockdown. Right, so that's everyone that I can see. So let's go back to me. just realized uh, Aisha is not in the game because if she were uh, her text would be coming up, coming up in the middle of the screen so I have a feeling Aisha has not been able to join the run and her foot pods uh, obviously given her too many issues to rejoin so she's obviously texting from outside the run Swift running. All you need are a few things. Firstly, access to a treadmill. Either at home or at the gym, it doesn't matter what kind of treadmill you use, any treadmill will work with Zwift. Next, you need a foot pod, preferably a Bluetooth foot pod, and the most popular ones to use at the moment are the Zwift pod or the Stride. Then simply download the Zwift app onto any of these devices. So, a Mac, a PC, an iPhone, an iPad, an Android phone, Zwift even works on Apple TV. Pair your foot pod in the app, possibly add a heart rate monitor if you like, and that's it. You're all set up for Zwift running. So we've got uh, just over one and a half kilometers left and really just taking it very nice and easy. Had a tough uh, Wednesday workout yesterday, uh, interval session where we really, um, we really went for it. So that was good. Um, so much so that I had to run to the toilet right in the middle of, uh, right in the middle of the run. <laughs>
Okay, so uh, Aisha is standing by the three mile mark, interestingly enough. Kilometer at 15. Uh, Vida has a heart rate of 164. No, Vida says sometimes running slow isn't easy. No, you're quite right. So Adam's going to come speeding past me. I don't know what he's doing. 17 kilometers per hour. Oh, he slowed down to run with me. That's kind of him. Adam could go a lot faster. I guess we could go at 16. When we get to halfway along this kilometre. Just 400 meters or so. Just stretching the legs out at the end. Cindy DeSanto says, You all rock.
think should race Adam to the end. I'm not going to beat him, am I? Oh, I've dropped my phone. I was going to message him and say do 20 to the end. Right, I'm going to wrap it up. See if he follows me. Nice little blast at the end. Right, I'll just walk it out. Enjoyed that. It's a shame that I wasn't able to uh, get on the run. I mean, she started foot pod problems and uh, wasn't able to carry on. But she was messaging support for us and uh, giving some uh, encouragement during, excuse me, during the run. So that was nice. So we'll see everyone for running the park on Saturday. And we've got Ryan Downey's uh, Friday fartlek, I think, have we, Ryan? Ryan Downey's Friday fartlek tomorrow. Um, let's just check what time that is, actually, because I missed it last week. Because I thought it was at 7.30 and it was not at 7.30, it was earlier. Oh, yes, we've got the start of the Friday fast workouts. Of course, let me message that. So Ryan says, uh, it's okay if you miss, oh, right, I'm allowed. He says, I'm allowed to miss Fartlek Friday for one of the new Fast Friday runs. But um, if I can, I'll do both. So I'll do a Fast Friday run. Perhaps I'll choose one of the morning ones for Fast Friday. And then um, and then I'll do Friday Fartlek in the evening. We'll see anyway. We'll see how it works out. Obviously, daily life might get in the way, but we'll see. Um, so that's what we'll do tomorrow. And then run in the park on Saturday, because obviously real park run across the world is cancelled. And then uh, day off on Sunday, we'll be back with Monday Run Club on Monday. And that is it. Um, like I said, a shame that Aisha wasn't able to actually fully take part in the run, uh, but hopefully we'll do another one of them at some stage. 
Ryan Danny says it's just another example of Zwift being jealous of his success. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame, but I suppose they they have to be seen to be putting on events as well. Hopefully, there are enough people now running on Zwift to accommodate your events, Ryan, and the HQ events, um, and Monday Run Club and Wednesday Workout, which are kind of Tim's babies originally. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Adam Holland sticking his tongue out at me because I uh, I <laughs> I ch cheekily put the speed up to 20 on the treadmill right at the end there. I did mean to message you, Adam, but it's just that my phone I, I dropped my phone on the floor. I was going to message you and say let's go to 20. He doesn't believe me. <laughs> right, that's it. Okay, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. So we'll see you tomorrow for uh, Fast Friday and. Fartleg. Friday or Friday, Fartleg. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.